Hi guys, welcome to the part 18 and good news is that this should be the last part where we are actually modeling this teapot so let's finish the job and enjoy so for a start let's do a fillet 2.5 on this four edges Next thing is fillet <coughs> 2 on this chain and another small fillet 0, 1, 5 on this 2, 3. <laughs> So now let's draw one sketch here in this space and let's draw a center line from midpoint of this edge to midpoint of this one and on this center line we are drawing the two cycles. It's a 4.5 diameter distance between uh, the the two of them is 20 and let's see 36 mm -hmm. so middle should be 18 which means <laughs> mm, I'm not so good with math, so we're gonna use this midpoint center line to put 10 here. So, how much it should be? 8. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, it's jump by 18. And let's make a fillet. Uh, radius 2 for these two faces now what's next again sketch on this face come on <coughs> and for start let's draw midpoint a rectangle on this midpoint of the edge and same here so it should be 5 horizontally and 4 vertically and let's draw one cycle It's gonna be uh, these points are going to be horizontal, and it's gonna be ten from uh, this edge of the cycle, and the hole should be C4. I mean the diameter four, and that's pretty much it. Extract cut by fifteen. Sketch on the plane and the plane is this one in the middle of the cable. So let's draw one <coughs> rectangle by three points, something like this. And let's make these two parallel and these two should be parallel and these two should be rectangular, normal to whatever and this should this should be also parallel and we got it 
almost fully defined so it goes to from here to here and it's one just make sure that these two are going above these two edges so now let's do extracted cuts with offsetting this plane by 3 in uh, this direction so this is what you need to get and here let's, let's put through all so while this cut is selected let's make a linear pattern and I'm gonna um, choose this edge as the inputs and spacing is going to be 2.5 and number of them is 5 <laughs> so that's it now select cut and pattern and select mirror and mirror face plane is the plane where was the sketch so it's this one this is what you have need to get so perfect and okay now we have to make one simple cutting from the top plane but pay attention what the hell happened with this cable again I really can't believe, I, I don't really care if, if, he, if he wants to stay like that, who cares so uh, take line and draw it somewhere around here before they are uh, hitting each other and make sure you draw it normal to this edge ok and same somewhere around here so make sure it's normal to this edge and select no we are gonna close this loop without the edge we are gonna draw it sort of Okay, so let's try to cut uh, this direction up to next. Uh, keep all bodies. Save. And now let's. <laughs> the reason why I'm doing this is that this part is not really. Uh, in never mind you'll see <laughs> so insert features move so balance to move is this one and we are translating it on uh, x y on y axis puts 10.5 and let's see something here so let's move it uh, on set by 2 no 5 and on x by 3 or even 5 so that's gonna give us some um, better look I guess and for the end of tutorial we have to make one loft so loft and this should be first profile and this should be the second one and one important thing is to look at from the top plane and uh, top view and then drag these points all the way down like this so we got clear uh, geometry and start 
and constraints should be tangency to face and tangency to face so it's not it's looking pretty, pretty well so this is what we got and I think that's it for today that sh this should be the last uh, modeling part of this tutorial in, in the next one we should do assembly and I think we are almost done thanks for watching bye bye bye